Hello everyone, welcome to the episode that deals with the rules of grammar. In our previous episodes of the rules of grammar and sentence construction, we talked about the different types of tenses, paragraphing, adjectives and adverbs. We also talked about their various types and uses. In this episode, we will talk about another very important rule of grammar, the narration. The narration is also known as the direct and indirect speech. In order to make the learners understand the topic thoroughly, we will discuss the meaning, types, uses and significance of the narration or direct and indirect speech comprehensively. I am Sakshi Mandwal and our subject expert for today's topic is Ms. Sabatarik, lecturer for English at Jamia Hamdard. After watching this episode, the student will be able to understand accurate meaning and importance of narration to understand the rules for changing direct speech into indirect speech, to use the direct and indirect speech without making any grammatical mistake, to expand and improve the skills of speaking and writing English correctly. Meaning of narration or direct and indirect speech. Direct speech is the mode of narration in which a speaker's words are presented using exactly the same words and are placed within quotation marks. Read the sentences. Dr. Samir said, I love to do this work. Please inform your father that I want to see him, the teacher said. James asked me, could you please open the door for me? Ashok said, I am working hard for the examination. How have you done your English paper? John asked Raju. I have done it quite well. Note that in all these sentences, the mode of narration shows the speech as directly delivered by the speaker. This mode of narration is called direct speech. The speaker is mentioned. What the speaker exactly said is given within quotation marks, inverted commas. The first words within the inverted commas begin with a capital letter. The words of the speaker within quotation marks are known as reported clause. Example, the sentence, could you please open the door for me, is the reported clause, sentence C. The verb that tells us about the exact words of the speaker is known as the introducing verb or the reporting verb. For example, verbs such as said, told and asked are introducing verbs. The comma is used to separate the quoted speech and the introductory verbs. The comma is placed after the introductory verbs when it precedes the quoted speech. For example, Dr. Samir said, I love to do this work. The comma is placed after the quoted speech when it precedes the introducing verb. For example, please inform your father that I want to see him, the teacher said to me. Now look at these sentences. Dr. Samir said that he loved to do that work. Dr. Samir expressed his love for that work. The teacher asked me to inform my father that she wanted to see him. James asked me whether I could open the door for him. James requested me to open the door for him. Ashok said that he was working hard for the examination. John asked Raju how he had done his English paper. Raju replied that he had done it quite well. The mode of narration in which a person reports about the verbal communication taking place between two or more people is known as indirect speech. Here, the meaning of the speech alone is conveyed. The actual words of the speaker are not reported. Note that in these sentences, the mode of narration shows the speech as reported by someone. This mode of narration is called indirect speech. The quoted speech is not placed within quotation marks, but made a part of the main sentence. Since the quoted speech is no longer treated as a separate utterance, the first words in the quoted speech are not written in capital letters. No comma is used before the quoted speech. Some modifications have been made while changing from direct speech to indirect speech in terms of pronouns. Examples. In sentence A, I is changed to he. In sentence B, I is changed to she. In sentence C, you is changed to I and me is changed to him. Possessive adjective. Examples. In sentence B, your is changed to my. Demonstratives. Example. In sentence A, this is changed to that. Tenses. 
the present tense of ten quoted speech in sentences A and B is changed to past tense in the indirect speech. Love becomes loved, want becomes wanted. A conjunction is used to join the quoted to the main sentence. Examples In sentence A, Dr. Samir said that he loved to do that work. In sentence C, James asked me whether in could open the door for him. Sentence C, which in indirect sentence has the following changes. 1. The auxiliary is not placed before the subject. 2. A full stop is used in place of the question mark. Example, James asked me, could you please open the door for me? James asked me whether I could open the door for him. Significance of narration or indirect speech There are many reasons for not quoting a person's exact words. We may not remember exactly what was said. Moreover, the exact words may not be important or may not be appropriate in the situation in which we are reporting. One way of reporting what someone has said is to repeat his actual words. For example, I know much about him, Juhi said. A sentence like this is called a quote structure. The quote structure is also called direct speech. Instead of reporting Juhi's exact words, the writer could have said, Juhi said that she knew much about him. A sentence like this is called report structure. The report structure is also called indirect speech. A quote structure, direct speech, consists of two clauses. One clause is the reporting clause, which contains the reporting verb. I know much about him, Juhi said. The other clause is the reported clause. This clause indicates what someone said. I know much about him, Juhi said. A report structure, indirect speech, also consists of two parts. One part is the reporting clause, which contains the reporting verb. Look at the sentence, indirect speech. Juhi said that she didn't know much about him. In this sentence, Juhi said is the reporting clause and she didn't know much about him is the reported clause. In indirect speech, we usually put the reporting clause first in order to make it clear that we are reporting rather than speaking directly ourselves. Rules for changing direct speech into indirect speech when changing direct speech into indirect, certain grammatical changes have to be made. These rules will make the whole thing clear. Rule 1. If the reporting verb is a past tense, the tense of the verb in the reported speech must be changed to the past tense. To work out this rule in detail, these special rules must be observed. The present tense in the reported speech must be changed to corresponding past form. In other words, we should change shall into should will into would, may into might, can into could, come into came, is coming into was coming, has come into had come, has been coming into had been coming. Look at these sentences. Direct, he said, Ram shall come. Indirect, he said that Ram should come. Direct, he said Ram will come. Indirect, he said that Ram would come. Direct. He said Ram may come. Indirect. He said that Ram might come. Direct. He said Ram can come. Indirect. He said that Ram could come. Direct. He said Ram comes. Simple present. Indirect. He said that Ram came. Simple past. Direct. He said Ram is coming. Present continuous. Indirect. He said that Ram was coming. Past continuous. Direct. He said Ram has come. Present perfect. Indirect. He said that Ram had come. Past perfect. Direct. He said Ram has been coming. Present perfect continuous. Indirect. He said that Ram had been coming, present past continuous. Direct speech. He said, 
I am happy, present tense. Indirect speech. He said that he was happy, past tense. Direct speech. I said to him, you are intelligent, present tense. Indirect speech. I told him that he was intelligent. Past tense and you change to he, the person of object of reporting verb. Change in time. Time is changed according to certain rules like now is changed to then, today to that day, tomorrow to next day and yesterday to previous day. Examples. Direct speech. He said, I am happy today. Indirect speech. He said that he was happy that day. The simple past tense in the reported speech is often, but not always, changed to the past perfect. As direct, Ali said, I drank water after the meal. Indirect, Ali said that he drank water after the meal. Past, direct, he said rain fell last night. Indirect, he said that rain had fallen the previous night. Past perfect. The past continuous tense in the reported speech must be changed to the past perfect continuous as direct. He said Sham was dancing. Indirect. He said that Sham had been dancing. Direct. He said Raj was playing hockey. Indirect. He said that Raj had been playing hockey. Note. Exception to rule 1. If the reported speech relates to some universal or habitual facts, the simple present tense in the reported speech remains unchanged. As direct, he said man is mortal. Indirect, he said that man is mortal. Direct, he proved the earth is round. Indirect, he proved that the earth is round. Direct, Sita said virtue is its own reward. Indirect. Sita said that virtue is its own reward. Rule 2. If the reporting verb is a present or future tense, the tense of the verb is not changed at all. Direct. The servant says the tea is ready. Indirect. The servant says that the tea is ready. Direct. The teacher will say the boy was dull. Indirect. The teacher will say that the boy was dull. Rule 3. Change in pronouns and possessive adjectives. Pronouns and possessive adjectives of the first and second person in direct speech are changed to indirect speech. I, you, singular. My, your, become. He, she, his, her. We, you, plural. Are, your, become. They, their. Examples. Direct. Ram said, I am ill. Indirect. Ram said that he was ill. Direct. He said my pen is lost. Indirect. He said that his pen was lost. Direct. Ali said to the beggar, I know you. Indirect. Ali told the beggar that he knew him. Direct. Raju said to the girl, I know you and your aunt. Indirect. Raju told the girl that he knew her and her aunt. Direct. I said to the boys, you should do your duty. Indirect. I told the boys that they should do their duty. Note 1. If the person addressed reports the speech, the second person pronoun is changed to first. For example, direct. He said to me, you are stupid. Indirect. He told me that I was stupid. Note 2. Sometimes the pronoun he in indirect speech stands for several different persons. In such cases, we should either insert in brackets the names of the persons referred to or use nouns instead of pronouns where possible. Direct. He said, I approve of your partnership with him. Indirect. He said that he approved of his partnership with him. Or he said that he approved of his Mohan's partnership with him. Sohan. Rule 4. In the reported speech, the words expressing nearness are changed into words expressing distance. Thus, now becomes then, this becomes that, these become those, hither becomes thither, here becomes there, hence becomes tense, thus yeah. becomes so, comes become go, today becomes that day, tomorrow becomes the next day, yesterday becomes the previous day, 
last day becomes the previous night ago becomes before direct the teacher said i am busy now indirect the teacher said that she was busy then direct he said it may rain tomorrow indirect he said that it might rain the next day direct he said last night i met a fool indirect he said that he had met a fool the previous night direct he said i met this man two days ago indirect he said that he had met that man two days before note please remember that if this here now etc refer to things present before the person during the delivery of the speech no change is required in the reported speech direct afzal said this is the pen i like indirect afzal said that this the pen in his hand was the pen he liked direct the leader said i will fight now or never indirect the leader said that he would fight now or never direct benny said here is the stick we have been looking for indirect benny said pointing to the stick in his hand that here was the stick they had been looking for statements statements in indirect speech are generally introduced by the conjunction that direct you said to me i don't think i can oblige you again in this way indirect you told me that you did not think you could oblige me again in that way direct he said the rain that fell last night had prevented me from going to this place indirect he said that the rain that had fallen the previous night had prevented him from going to that place direct he said to me i have never seen such a lazy boy as you are indirect he told me that he had never seen such a lazy boy as i was direct the teacher said to the girl i know you and your mother indirect the teacher told the girl that he knew her and her mother questions in reporting a question in indirect speech the introductory verb is changed to asked inquired demanded whether or if is required after such introductory verbs whenever the direct question admits of one of two answers yes or no the note of interrogation which is placed after questions in the direct form is not placed after questions in the indirect form direct he said to me do you know the way indirect he inquired of me if i knew the way direct the teacher said to me what are you doing indirect the teacher asked me what i was doing direct benny said to me when will you return indirect benny asked me when i would return direct he said to me why did you write to me such an insulting letter indirect he demanded of me why did i had written such an insulting letter to him commands and requests in reporting a command or request in the indirect speech the introductory verb is changed into request beg implore entreat order command advise threaten etc the verb in the reported speech is put in the infinitive direct he said to me give me your pencil indirect he asked me to give him my pencil direct she said to the students do not make a noise indirect she forbade the students to make a noise direct i said to the teacher please explain this question to me indirect i requested the teacher to explain that question to me direct he said to the servant leave my house at once indirect he ordered the servant to leave her house at once direct the teacher said to the students work hard and be regular in your work indirect the teacher advised the students to work hard and be regular in the studies direct shoot the prisoner said the tyrant indirect the tyrant commanded them to shoot the prisoner 
when let in the direct speech expresses a proposal or suggestion we may use should and change the reporting verb into propose or suggest direct she said to us let us have some music indirect she proposed or suggested to us that we should have some music but when let does not express a proposal it should be changed into might or might be allowed or into some other verb according to the sense direct he said let me have some tea indirect he wished that he might have some tea direct ali said to his friends let me do my work please indirect ali requested his friends that he might be allowed to do his work exclamations and wishes in reporting a wish or an exclamation in the indirect speech the introductory verb is changed into wish bless pray cry exclaim declare etc with such phrases as with delight or joy with regret with sorrow where necessary the interjections and exclamations such as oh well hooray alas brave curse it are omitted and their sense is expressed by means of phrases direct what a terrible storm it is he said indirect he exclaimed that it was a terrible storm direct she said alas how foolish have i been indirect she confessed with regret that she had been very foolish direct he said goodbye friends indirect he bade goodbye to his friends direct they said hooray we have won the match indirect he exclaimed with delight that they had won the match direct oh what a beautiful flower that is said she indirect she exclaimed joyfully that that was a very beautiful flower direct what a horrible sight we all exclaimed indirect we all exclaimed that it was a very horrible sight direct alas i have broken my brother's watch said he indirect he exclaimed sorrowfully that he had broken his brother's watch direct how beautiful she is said boon indirect boon exclaimed joyfully that she was very beautiful conclusion we hope after watching this episode the learners can understand that in direct speech the original words of person are narrated no changes made and are enclosed in quotation marks while in indirect speech some changes are made in original words of the person because these words have been uttered in past so the tense will change accordingly and pronoun may also be changed accordingly in indirect speech the statement of the person is not enclosed in quotation marks the word that can be used before the statement to show that it is indirect speech we should remember that indirect speech is also called reported speech because reported speech refers to the second part of indirect speech in which something has been told by a person we should not forget that the verb in the first part of the sentence that is he said she said he says they said she says before the statement of a person is called reporting verb and the second part of indirect speech in which something has been told by a person which is enclosed in quotation marks in direct speech is called reported speech we should also remember the fundamental rules for indirect speech that reported speech is not enclosed in quotation marks and the word that is used as a conjunction between the reporting verb and reported speech the pronoun subject of the reported speech is changed according to the pronoun of reporting verb or object person of reporting verb first part of sentence sometimes the pronoun may not change that is all that we have for you for today we hope you enjoyed the session see you again till then thank you and namaskar